Get this figure and more at Lunar Toy Store. <coughs> hey, my name is Jobby, and if you hear jazz, that means I'm coming. <laughs> That was a quote from the anime Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt, and it is said by the sociopathic E.O. Fleming, who is the pilot for the Full Armor Gundam. Fortunately, that coming line has a way different context than what I implied. It's just that the war-hungry bastard loves jazz. A little too much. I love Gundam Thunderbolt. It's gotta be my favorite Gundam series ever. It's short, action-packed, and really encapsulates the most powerful themes of the Gundam franchise. The futility of war, the senseless brutality, and the fact that in any conflict, there are no clear good guys or bad guys. I once read a quote that sums up my feelings on this theme of Gundam Thunderbolt and the Gundam franchise as a whole. There are no angels or demons. Just people. And of course that profound line comes from the trusted intellectual source of Twitter. But enough of thinking about the morality of war, let's get to the part where I rot your brain. The painting on this kit, non-existent, and the sculpting. Of course, this is a Gundam plastic model kit, which means I had to build it and paint it, which I did not do. Give me a fucking break. Lunar Toy Store expects these videos in a timely manner. And because of the speed of my build, two hours in total, you can see that I did not tend to the numb marks, paint the small details, and I absolutely refused to even entertain the idea of this fucking bullshit. What a catastrophe. And if you're new to my channel and you're wondering why daddy's mad, I'm not the biggest fan of stickers. They're distractingly glossy, they peel off over time and fuck you I just don't like them alright now I understand that I come off a little condescending and I apologize for that if you use stickers in your model kit builds I totally understand where you're coming from and of course I'm only saying this because I use the eye sticker but if you have the extra time I highly recommend that you try to paint as for the full armor Gundam itself it's a fantastic design it's basically a bulkier RX 78-2 and the dark and sinister colors reflects its pilots role in the series yes the Gundam pilot in the series isn't exactly the protagonist but of course that might change in the second season, which I did not watch yet, no spoilers please, fucker. Now you may be wondering why his joints look like a withered ball sack. That's because the mobile suits in the show have their joints covered to protect from all the debris in the Thunderbolt sector. And naturally this material wrinkles up. This is a pretty clever way to translate that into a model kit form. But wouldn't it be better to have actual joint covers that actually wrinkle up as you bend the joints? The answer of course is no, ask anyone who owns the Master Grade Full Armor Gundam. And if you own the Master Grade, tell me about your experiences in the comments. I want to know if the horror stories are true. You get a pair of beam sabers that plug right into his fists, and you get a pair of shields with no clear way to plug them in. That's where these pieces come in. That plugs right into the forearm, plug the shield here or here, and there you go. Now is it just me or are the beam sabers a little bit too long? Or I'm just jealous. Do you get it? It's because my wiener is small. And you get a pair of trigger finger hands, which doesn't really come into play until you factor in all of this shit. And now we can get into what every Gundam Thunderbolt fan was tearing their hair over. Where the fuck is his backpack? Well, here it is, baby boy. Now this is truly the full armor Gundam. This beautiful hunk of plastic really does wonders for the presence of this model kit. It's a little ridiculous, but it's also excessively cool. It's ironic how some of the most impractical mobile suit designs comes from one of the most realistic Gundam series. Well, it makes sense because they're in space, shut up. And the backpack has the same old man texture as the previously mentioned joints. All this attention on the backpack and I'm not even paying attention to his arm cannons. All I gotta say about these is, fuck yeah, let's move on. You can remove these pieces and replace them with these mechanical arms. So fucking what, why should I care? You get an extra pair of shields that you can plug these white pieces into and that clips onto these arms. Holy fuck, I love this look. And with these arms in mind, you can now see that these pieces are just the arms folded up. Pretty clever, huh? Well, it would have been more clever if they could actually fold out instead of part swap. Fuck off, this ain't the Master Grade. Any Master Grade owners talk about that in the comments as well. I might just upgrade. Now, the arms may not actually be able to fold out, but at least they can move up and down. Rotation here, hinge joint here, rotation at the shield, and a hinge joint at the missile launcher, and a hinge joint at the what I think was a giant laser cannon. I don't know, I haven't watched the show in a while. And let's not forget a swivel. Ball joint at the head and the base of the neck, slight forward movement at the shoulders, ball joint at the shoulder, 
which allows for rotation. Arm moves out. <laughs> Double bend at the elbow. Ball joint at the wrist. Every ball joint can be up. And of course, a fuck. Ball joint at the side skirts and the front skirts. And a note about the front skirt. Out of the packaging, this was one separate piece, but I took the time to split them. I just wanted to let you know that I'm not a complete hack. Rotation at the leg. Can move back, not that much. Beautiful spread. Rotation at the crotch. Swivel at the th <laughs> Double jointed knee. Ball joint at the ankle. Ankle guard moves up and down. And a pivot. Th the music. The vibration on my ass. You've got me addicted. <laughs> Surprisingly, even with this ridiculous backpack, the kit stands fine on its own. But if you wanted some show-accurate aerial poses, you could always take this included stand and shove it right up his Thunderbolt sector. Let's not beat around the bush with an awkward segue, let's just get right into the size comparisons. Here's Master Grade Blitz Gundam, Madoka Godzilla Prime, and the Master Grade Zaku. These two are both from the Universal Century, which is the superior Gundam timeline shunned an unbeliever. Overall, this kit is awesome. Now, we wouldn't say this kit is a must-have, but it is definitely a treat if you're a fan of Gundam Thunderbolt. And if you haven't watched Gundam Thunderbolt, get out of my house. This is my new Madoka Magica. And if you wanted your own Madoka Magica, why not get them at the Lunar Toy Store? They've got a great selection of model kits on sale and for pre-order, and a hobby tool section. And it's filled with paint, but they'll probably add more stuff in the future. I don't know, it's not really my problem. Being a big fan of Gundam Thunderbolt, I can't help but look at this guy and feel the need for a high-grade Psycho Zaku. But to fight off that need, I'm giving this model kit to my good friend Miguel, so he can go down that financial rabbit hole. So did you know that if you take the first letter of every word of Full Armor Gundam, you get... Guffa? <laughs>